What's going on everyone? Dots Gaming here, back from my break. I'm uh, my back from my honeymoon. Uh, it was really, really good time. So we're back making content for uh, for YouTube and for Twitch. And we're gonna kick off the new week with a brand new series that you guys definitely didn't expect because I've only discussed it with Patreon and a little bit with Stream. And it is a Let's Play series for Shadow of War. So let me, this first episode is just gonna be an explanation of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what my plans are. So I'm gonna call this one like episode, uh, episode zero, the introduction. So I've tried doing a Let's Play before for Dark Souls. I did it on stream and it wasn't, I think, the best series, um, and I think that's why it never did as well. Um, I wasn't super into the game. Um, it was fun, but I wasn't super into it. And I did it on stream, so there was, like, the stream interaction that was kind of, like, um, seeping into the Let's Play a little bit. So I, I think for YouTube, it probably wasn't the best series. But what I want to do is always have an ongoing Let's Play on the channel. When I was on my vacation, I was thinking about things that I could also do for my channel when I got back and things that I would find fun. And something that I want to do is in addition to still playing the Elder Scrolls Online, to still having ESO as a core of my channel, as I want to expand into other things, even besides just Apex. I want to have an ongoing single player Let's Play that gives you guys a, a, ser like a new series to watch. Probably going to try to do two episodes a week. Just an always ongoing single player game Let's Play series. Some new um, adventures into other MMOs where I do Is It Worth It videos like I did for ESO as well as maybe some beginner guides for other MMOs that I find fun. Keep obviously outputting ESO content. Keep making some content for Apex Legends. I just want to spread myself over more games and just make more content and i figured what better way to start my let's play journey than a game that i have wanted to play for so long but just never got around to playing and that is middle earth shadow of war like i said though still expect the elder scrolls online to be in the um core of my channel um if you're watching this and you're a new to my channel hello this is this part is more towards uh people who've been watching my channel for a while but I just want to start trying to do some Let's Plays and see how they can do. I, I think it'd be really fun to do. I think it's, like I said, something cool that you guys can also see from me. And, uh, yeah, I think the way I'm going to do it is just the raw gameplay footage. No cutting or snipping unless I have to do some, like, grinding or something. Um, but the way I want to try to do it is 20-minute episodes-ish. Um, the old Let's Play was, like, 45 minutes. Um, and I think it was too long. So I want to try to keep the episodes... 20 minutes long and this will also not be streamed at all this will only be on youtube uh like i said because i think that sometimes the stream interaction got in the way of the let's play for dark souls and i don't want that ha that i tried to do and i don't want that to happen with shadow of war uh the dark souls let's play like i said it was a good try it wasn't my favorite game and i think the, the stream may have gotten away a little bit but this is going to be youtube let's play only and i'm always going to have one going at all times so i have not powered up the game yet i literally just got to the screen lowered the volume and made sure it was on borderless mode so we are going to hop right into it see what happens i think we're just going to do the shadow of war yep campaign difficulty uh, we'll do normal. Probably. Yeah, standard difficulty. He'll just do normal. Dude, I haven't played this game in a hot minute. Shadow of Mordor was like my shit, though, dude. It was my shit. I loved it so much. I played that game. Like, I was, like, top five at one point for, like, the I scores. A, a wife. This is beautiful. Like, I don't know if you guys remember from Shadow of Mordor, they had like the different modes that you can do and it would score you and compare you to other players. I was like top five for some of those modes, man. I, I, I was really loved this game. I might need to turn on subtitles. Am I dead? I love this game so much. I'm so excited. Who are you, Raven? I don't even know what Shadow of War is about. I haven't seen or watched anything about it yet. So I'm going in completely blind. No spoilers. Greatest of the second age. So 
one deceived you into making the rings. He tortured both you and your king. Perhaps that pain was what hurts us. I should have died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. Dude, this is a good revamp. Or a good uh, recap. The time has come for a new ring. The new ring. Oh, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. The first thing that we're going to do, though, is we got to stick on subtitles because I don't want to have to be, like, super quiet. The world of men is ending. I have seen it. Can't wait to see what the graphics look like on my new PC too. Because I only play I played this on my old PC. In the fires of Mount Doom, a ranger and a wraith bound together in death. Craft the one thing that could challenge the dark lord. A ring of power. Power can blind those who seek. And even the strongest bonds can be broken. The future I have seen cannot come to pass. Oh shit! Death calls to you again, Ranger. How do you answer? I don't remember them getting separated. Oh shit! I also super don't remember the controls. <laughs> Talion, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? Oh, I still have a few friends left in Gondor. What's wrong, my love? The past is the past. Nothing can be changed. We must leave this place. We can go. What's in now you're not going anywhere, buddy. I wonder what this ring of power is going to give him in terms of, like, ability. The Wraith calls to you. I call to you. Ooh, who? Who are you? So many questions. So many questions that need answering. a long opening cutscene though man set in the story dude I'm gonna have to see if I need to adjust the graphics at all because like I said I haven't really figured anything I don't know how this is gonna run Is it playtime? No? Talion. I will find you. Right, before we hold shift to enter stealth. Options. Super want subtitles. Alright. Here we go, boys. Oh my god, that mouse sensitivity is so high. Oh my lord, is there a fucking setting for that? Oh my god, that was so high. Gotta lower this quite a lot, I think. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna have to see what kind of sensitivity I need. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to 
kill him. Come, Talia. Free me. I need to keep quiet. Find Celebrimbor. So we gotta go. Preparing for war. Nothing here but shadows and death. No. You know what? Let me go down this guy. Let's go. Gonna fucking drop down and stab this dude in the face. You must defeat her. Never know what you'll find here. We have to go down that way. I think across the way here is gonna be the way to go. Then I can jump down into this ledge right below me. Why throw him off a ledge when I could just fucking shank him, dude? Let me just jump down a level. I just want to stealth kill these guys and then practice my grab. Oh, this guy noticed me. How do you sprint again? Oh, okay, space farther. I'm coming, Calibrimbor! I'm coming! I'm just beating this dude with a hammer while he's down. I think I have to, if I remember correctly, I have to unlock executions. At least I think I do. I don't get executions, I don't think, right off the bat. It's super unfortunate. Dude, this is like the perfect example of like, oh, you stealth on this mission and me just going like, and I don't think so. Just going, no, thank you. I will not do that. This is the perfect example. It's more fun sometimes to just go in guns blazing. Kill these spoders. Sneak on through. There's our boy. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's a large spoder. Oh, that's the lady from the prologue. I called you here for a reason. I called you here. You will return him to me now. Oh, Talion, don't be a silly willy. Come on. Let's hear out the creepy spider lady. For a man. But it is not your sword that will save him. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I have given up everything. It's not your not sword that'll save him. Not yet. Eyebrow raise. <laughs> The ring. 
You would give me a ring. For the ring. And find myself beside him in your web. I am Shelob. And I deal only in truth. Ah, Shelob. Well, that changes everything. Oh. That changes everything. That's, uh, yeah, not the best. I'm impressed, Rod. It must mean something to you. Why would you give it up? Before he dies. Wow, she actually, I'm, I'm surprised she actually didn't just kill him. I mean, granted, that would have just been the end of the game right there, but still. Silly, silly tally, and tricks are for kids. And now you have given her mine. I poured my life force into that ring. Then we must take it back. Oh, here we go. And she's got a ring of power. You think you're just gonna fucking? The war you came to fight is not here. The ring is lost. So look to Minas Ethel and the Dark Lord's armies that surround it. Look to the Palantir. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth. Is I can't tell what to think of this lady, man. Must be protected. Given him a credit, man, the prologue has got a lot of backstory set in the scene. Minas Ethel. I must know if Shelob's vision holds true. All right. Well, there we have it. A prologue is set in the backstory, though. A lot of cutscene. I was trying not to talk through it, though, so that we all, as a, as a team, understand what's happening. Oh, no. I need to unlock all my all my abilities though, man. The spider showed us the truth. Gondor's last fortress in Mordor cannot fall. Are we getting in there, dude? Are we getting all up in there? Hey, I'm excited, dude. I miss this game so much. Oh, I'm so hyped. The Palantir is our concern. We must seize it before it falls into Sauron's hands. With it, his armies will be unstoppable. The fate of the city matters not. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. I'm not really sure what the plan tier is. I'm gonna have to look that up after this. I didn't, I didn't really understand that. Taking up a captain should buy the Gondorians some time. And they could lead us to the Palantir. We must find a worm and make him talk. And I'm gathering that obviously the Palantir is an item, but I just totally missed what it was. Wait, just uh, uh Palantir. It's a seeing stone. Oh, it's one of 
Okay, now I remember what that is now. Okay. Hold space for to move towards the ledge. Oh, hello. Alright, we're going to try to lower the sense a little bit more. The native sense of the game is so high. Alright. I actually think we're going to end here for just episode zero. Just because this is episode zero, I wanted to set the stage... I wanted to get some of the opening cutscenes out of the way. I wanted to explain what the series is going to be. Um, so, yeah, man. Very, very excited for this. It's I've been, lo like, like I said, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. Um, haven't gotten around to it just because I've been busy with ESO and other games. So, I'm excited to start these Let's Play series here on YouTube. But, guys, please let me know what you think in the comment section below of this new series and what we have coming um if you guys like this opening video please smack a like on it and to keep up to date with this series as well as all the other content i make here on the dots game youtube channel hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep notifications on so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you with episode one next week